Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you how to use letter composition grids in Procreate. So I'm gonna click my little photo in the top right corner and then click on purchases. Then I'm gonna scroll down a bit till I get to the Procreate bundle. I could do one of two things. I could either download all of the files at once or I could download just the individual files I need. And that's what I wanna do. So I'm going to press the blue download individual files button, scroll down until I see the letter composition grids that I want to use. And then hit download files. You're gonna see the files download at the bottom of my screen. You'll press that little download button and then you'll hit open in, open in downloads. And then you're going to just click on the zip folder and it's gonna automatically create a new folder and unzip that for you. Within that folder, you will see a dot brush set file. All you need to do is tap on that and it's gonna open and import and procreate. Create a new document, hit the plus sign in the top right corner. And as you can see, the lettering guides are at the top of my brush library. I'm scrolling down to composition 10 and I'm going to increase the opacity, which is the bottom slider and the top slider increases or decreases the size. For these brushes in particular, when you tap on it with your Apple pencil, it doesn't show up. So I'm going to tap on it with my finger and then I can change the size of it. Scale it, press the arrow in the top left menu and I have it selected to uniform, which will keep the proportions the same and then you can just hit the arrow button again to save those changes. I'm going to use the direct selection tool, which is right next to the arrow, and I'm just gonna draw around that top one. I'll show you why in a second. With three fingers, I'm going to drag down, which is gonna bring up this new menu. Press cut and paste, which will make it into its own new layer so that I can change the curve of the top layer to match the bottom layer. Press the arrow button in the top menu and then hit warp and then you will be able to change the art of that top layer. Now I can open up my layers palette and tap on the top layer and then hit merge down so those are all one layer again. Then when you tap on the little N, you can change the opacity. You're gonna to want to create a new layer and then find the brush or pencil you wanna use. I'm using the Narender pencil. I've altered it a little bit to be a little thicker. So now I'm gonna speed up the actual lettering process a bit so that this video isn't super lengthy. You will just letter and follow the grid lines. You might already know this, but you can tap with two fingers to undo. If you hold down while you're drawing a line, it will snap into place and draw a straight line for you. You can see that the G carries over too far, so what I'm going to do is tap the arrow and then hit freehand and then drag the box to the left. I've merged those two layers and I'm gonna tap the N and then bring down the opacity so that I can go over it again with my actual brush that I want to use. I'm adding a few doodles in the top left corner because there's this wide open space, so I'm just gonna color that in real quick. So essentially you're done, but let's make this a little bit more exciting. Just select the layer, and with two fingers, you're gonna swipe to the right. This will allow you to alpha lock the layer, or you could just tap on the layer and hit alpha lock. Open up the color menu. If you drag down, it will kind of pop out into the screen where you can drag it all around and then you won't have to keep opening that color palette. So this is a quick 
way to save a little bit of time and quickly recolor. Since each layer is alpha locked, you can basically just color in the lines. It's not gonna go outside or anything like that because we have turned alpha lock on. If you tap on the layer and then click fill layer, it will fill in the entire layer for you. If you want to just color in one portion or one letter at a time, you would just use the brush and color it in. So I want to take this one more step. You are going to press the smudge tool, which is next to the brush. And I already have it selected to be the same brush as the one I was writing with. And now that's the one that my smudge tool is going to be. And basically all you need to do is drag one color to the next. So if I'm starting with a darker pink color and dragging to the light, it's going to carry the dark pink over. If I swipe from the light pink to the dark, it's going to bring more of the light pink color. And this basically just blends the two colors together and not these weird harsh lines. So that is it. That's how you use lettering composition guides. I hope this helped you get a little bit more comfortable for them and know how to use them. Have a great day.